Well, howdy there. Um, a couple days ago, I saw The Artist uh, for the second time. I really uh, like to see, I guess, what are going to be award contenders. Uh, I at least like to see them two times in the theater, especially when it's something like The Artist, and it needs to be seen in all of its big screen glory. Um, so I definitely wanted to see The Artist uh, again, and I did. And I had as much of uh, a good time as I did the first time. I'll give it a 9. Uh, I don't see how I can't give it a 9, just for sheer originality. The Artist is about the rise and fall of a, uh, what was it, Claude Valentine? Um, Georges Valentine, something like that. Uh, the Rise and Fall of Georges Valentine, a silent movie star who uh, falls by the wayside when talkies come into being. Uh, and basically, again, it's his rise and fall. Um, and along the way, he meets uh, a woman, of course. Uh, that woman stays in his life. Uh, through some way or another um, and in it's really about love and redemption you know uh, learning to love oneself uh, I would think um, I want to call it a French film uh, I mean it's made with a lot of American actors but the writer director is French uh, the two leads, male and female, are French. Uh, it was made here, so again, that would seem American, but I want to call this a French film. Um, not sure if it was written, uh, directed, I think co-written, not entirely sure, by uh, Michel uh, Hazenavasius. It's a long, confusing last name that I haven't syllabized yet, but it's like has a Navasius, something like that. Uh, Michel. Uh, stars uh, Jean Duarden. Um, who what was the female's name? Bijou, I think, maybe? Something? Uh, I can't think of her name. Um, also stars uh, John Goodman, uh, Penelope Ann Miller, um, Malcolm McDowell is in there for 10 seconds. Uh, who else? Who else? James Cromwell. Uh, one of the Murray brothers is in there. What is it? Not Brian Doyle, but, uh, oh, I can't think. The youngest Murray brother, I, I believe. Um, it's a silent film. Um, that's probably why you've heard of it, is it's totally different. Uh, this year, it's, it's, I think, the first silent film to come out uh, in a long time. I'm, I'm not sure of actual dates on that. Uh, it reminded me a lot, I know I talked about this in my first review, it reminded me a lot of The White Ribbon. Um, just this throwback, I felt The White Ribbon was practically silent. Um, and also you know, kind of used, well, I mean, even the camera, like, moved more here than in the White Ribbon. It seemed like the White Ribbon used, like, the old uh, Lumiere camera, where it just stayed in one place and everything had to happen around that. Uh, you know, it was, it felt really old school. Um, maybe that was because the White Ribbon was made by this ancient filmmaker. Um, who, who probably was around back in those days. But anyway, uh, you've got this totally throwback feel, and it's got, it's just a love letter to golden era Hollywood. Um, I mean, it's got everything. It's got uh, uh, romance, it's got tragedy, it's uh, got music, it's got dance numbers, um, it's got gorgeous scenery, it's got animals, you know, that do tricks. Um, it, it just has everything. And I think that's why, you know, the actors are getting such attention is because they have to do everything. Um, and that really makes it, you know, work. 
uh, and really worth it. I mean, the the lead actor uh, Jean Duard Den, I mean, really has to do, you know, basically every emotion in the book, um, and he's got to do it without words. You know, he has to express that. Uh, with his face, and he does it uh, beautifully, uh, as does the as does the lady. Um, she has just as much to do, and I think she's equally as good. Um, but really, he is, I mean, kind of magical. Uh, the movie may drag for a bit. Um, you know, the first because like the first thirty minutes are just kind of spectacular. Um, and then, you know, it gets, it's a story that we've seen a hundred times, you know, there's, it tells this story that you know, um, so there's nothing really original in terms of story here, um, it's just all original in the way it's told, uh, I kind of lost my track there, where was I going with that, uh, crap shit what was I gonna say oh, I hate it when this happens um oh the middle it drags it drags just because you've seen it all before you know what's gonna happen uh, and so maybe the middle isn't as great as it could be uh, and you may get a little bit lulled uh, into boredom, but then it comes roaring back uh, with the ending, I think is really uh, quite fantastic. Um, so again, it's not like the perfect film, but it's just just gorgeous. Everything is uh, beautiful. It's a transportive experience. The costumes are amazing. Uh, it, just the look of everything is, is just it has this totally accurate feel. Um, it's just, you know, really good. And I think it should definitely be seen on the big screen. Uh, that's what probably got me to really want to see it again is Entertainment Weekly, which is a magazine I uh, subscribe to. Uh, put out a list of 25 movies you must see before Oscar night. And number one was The Artist. And I was like, yeah, I really need to see that again. Uh... So that's really what got me back on it, and I'm totally glad I did. Uh, I mean, really, I don't even know what else to say about it. I thought it was just fantastic, um, gorgeous, uh, well acted, well told. Um, again, the the middle, you know, Act Two, maybe you know a little wandering for you, or at least you know exactly what's going to happen, and you just want to get to the end. Um, so there's that, but that's really the only thing I can think of to even halfway nitpick. Um, everything else was just gorgeous. I again, the the lead actor, very deserving of all the praise he's he's been getting. He'll certainly get a nomination for best actor at the Oscars. Uh, he won best actor at uh, Cannes uh, this past summer. Um, now whether he'll win at the Oscars, I don't know. Uh, you know, we love Americans, but, uh, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, so I don't really know what else to say about it. It's definitely a movie you need to see, definitely one of the best movies of the year, uh, easily one of the best movies of the year, uh, very original, um, while not being original. It, ta it takes a story that's old as time and tells it in a fresh way. Uh... So I really don't know what else to say about it. Uh, gorgeously shot. I mean, the black and white. Um, black and white is just beautiful. Uh, and I think it's harder to shoot black and white than it is color. Uh, definitely harder for the cinematographer. Um, and really, it just is gorgeous. Uh, and of course, it really helps nail that old-timey feel. Um, but it... Uh, just a fantastic... Uh, transportive, um, happy film. I mean, there's there's just so much love in this 
I mean, that's there's just so much love. Hold on, just one second. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, just a movie of love, you know, just tremendous. Um, I really don't know what else to say. I feel I'm repeating myself uh, already, uh, but definitely get to it. You know, if you can see it in the theater, you know, go out of your way to see it. Uh, so yeah, um, that's it. That's uh, the artist. That was my second viewing of the artist, and it's a solid nine. Uh, one of the better films of the year. Thank you.